conferences like this have an essential role to play because they bring people together who can who've been thinking about probably one narrow aspect in their own uh, silo, but then then you can hear what other people are saying, where the state of thinking is, and sort of spark off each other, and and also hear about what's going on in other fields that might well be relevant to your own. I think that the one of the problems that the internet policy field has had is that in a way we've all been waiting for the grown-ups to arrive. That doesn't deride the people who've been giving their lives to it, but it's been quite a small space of people who all know each other. And what is actually needed is a recognition that the internet is as part of as much part of our life as any other aspect and therefore the professionals the people who are thinking about different policy security privacy in other spheres need to join this debate together and work out what to do the policy debate is really lagging behind usage and that we are stuck with models of consent you know you you click i agree you don't really know what you're agreeing to and even the people asking for your permission don't even know what they're going to do with the data. And we're sort of stuck with these models that kind of hold everything together. You know, if we didn't have them, then everything would sort of collapse. But they don't really work very well and they don't actually protect people's privacy. I don't think we've really come to terms with what privacy means online now and the threats to individuals liberty that can occur with that sort of thoughtless giving away of these hard fought rights and hard fought liberties that took hundreds of years to build up the first thing we have to understand is that these things aren't easy you know none of us actually want to be attacked by terrorists none of us want to be victims of cyber crime and there is a legitimate reason why we ask the state to keep us safe um that's without safety we can't have those sort of liberties but what we haven't really engaged in you know it is a difficult debate so it is tempting to kind of park it for another day but we do have to have quite a sophisticated debate about where you draw the line and what control if any individuals still have over their identities and their privacy and online